Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is Alvendril and in this video I'm going to show you how to remove or replace the keyboard of a Dell laptop. As you can see here, this is a Dell laptop. It's an Inspiron 15 inches 3521. But many other models, like especially in the Latitude family, share this kind of keyboard. So I'm going to open the lid so you can see it better. So as I mentioned, this one is uh, 15 inches, so it's kind of big. You might have a smaller model or what is there a bigger mo model than this? I'm not really sure that is not an Alienware. So I'm showing you the, um, the Inspiron 15 inches so you can see the keyboard there. So we're going to use our loyal screwdriver here, which is a plain one in this case. And the first thing we have to do is, of course, the, the laptop has to be shut down and I'm going to remove the battery. If you can, if you cannot do it, just shut it down. I'm going to do another video uh, with a HP laptop, the same process, removing the, the keyboard. So when it's done, you're going to see it in the top right of this screen. So now you can see that I'm not wearing any jewelry or watches and I discharge myself of electricity, uh, a static electricity touching a metallic surface. So these kind of keyboards have locks on them. So I'm going, I'm going, I'm doing a close up and you can see one over there, another there, and on the bottom as well it has, and on each side, right and left. So I'm going to show you in a few seconds. So you, you have to check that they have locks because there are other models that you cannot take it this way. You have to remove it from the back of the laptop. Now I'm going to, the, the movement, movement I'm going to do is this one. So I'm going to put it down, I'm going to go north and then south. Okay, so one more time, I put it down, I'm going to go north and then south. That's the way you can, you have to release the locks. So I'm going to put it down a little, I go, and that's how you remove it. So again, the sound is enabled in this part, so you can hear how it sounds. So you can hear it there. So very carefully, you try to release all the locks. So that's how we do it. And we have to remove all of them. So if I remember correctly, on the top, you have like one, two, like four locks. And we have to do it. And on the sides, we have two. So I'm going to go to the sides. So we, can, we are going to do kind of the same process, but this time you have to move it to the sides. Now, as you can see here, you can see I'm going to bring it, uh, the laptop more to the camera so you can see it better. And now you can see that I'm pulling it out. So I'm going to do it from the sides. I already put my finger under it very slowly. Don't try to break it. And now, I'm going to re release the last logs on the right. So that's how you take it out. And next, as you can see here, I have to push it a little, a little, you apply a little force and it's going to come out like that. Now, oh, and now it's released, but don't pull it out very quickly because you can see that this is the cable that is connected to the, to the motherboard. So I'm going to do a close up a little. And as you can see this, there, it says up. And using your thumbnail, you have to release this black lock. So I'm failing there as always, but now, and that's how you release. It's really easy. It's not difficult at all. And now you can see there again that it says up, so you don't get confused when you are going to replace it. Now you can see, and then you can do, you can clean it, you can replace it or anything. So there you can see the fan, you can see the wireless card, and you can see that the CD DVD reader. By the way, I made a video some months ago about how to replace this on a, on a Dell laptop. If you're interested in that, I'm going to leave the link in the description below for the video. Now I'm going to, let's say we have to replace it. By the way, this laptop doesn't have any issue. I just remove it so you can see it. So the first thing you have to put it back when you have the replacement, or maybe you have to clean it up, is the cable that goes, the connector that goes from the keyboard to the motherboard. So our uh, reference is going to be this white line. I'm going to do a close up so you can see it better. So this part is very easy to put, but you have to be very careful. So again, this white line is going to be our reference and this white line has to kind of match the white connector that you see on the motherboard. So as you can see here, there, they are kind of aligned. So that's a good reference. Another thing that you have to check maybe uh, to make, to be even 
to be sure that you're doing it correctly. You see these kind of sites, extra sites that it has? Those sites has to go next to the connector, the white connector has these kind of plastic things, extra plastic things, and they have to be next to each other. So that way and the alignment of the white line, now you know that they are correctly that is correctly connected. So then you press it down, I mean the, the, the black connector, and now it's secure. So the way you put it back is that you have to make match this uh, the lower part with some with the holes on the case. So with a, with a little force, you have to press it down. So now it's going to get secure. So I'm doing it right now. So like that. So now it's secure. But the, and I'm going to do it again. So I remove it. So again, I'm going to show you. So you have to apply a little force, not too much. And then you have it secure, the lower part. Now for the top part, what you have to do is just press it down. So again, there's the screen. And now you have to press it down. And it's going to sound like that. So you press it down until you don't hear any more clicks. And then you know that the keyboard is uh, correctly installed. So you can put it that way. You try to move it with your thumbs so it's not moving. So that's really good. So it's secure. And after that, uh, you have to make sure that everything is correctly uh, installed. And now I'm going to move it a little, so trying to get it out. So it's not uh, falling off, so that's a good thing. And then of course you have to turn on the computer and try it and all that. If you see an error on the screen, you have to, maybe you did something wrong, you have to shut it down again and try to adjust the keyboard. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys. Really quick, really easy, how to remove a keyboard from a laptop. In this case, in this case it's Adele. And if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.